Hello friends, Techman Pat here. I hope you are well. I've got something really interesting for you today from X Starlink. And in the name, yes, it has to do with Starlink. So if you're someone who's interested in running your Starlink system off grid when camping or somewhere in a cabin with intermittent power, then this might be the video for you. So big thanks for Xstar to sending this little battery for review. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started by rolling the intro. So let me start off with telling you about this device because I think a lot of people will be like, what's the point? This is just a battery pack and one that doesn't look that great. Yes, the plastic isn't the fanciest, it feels pretty cheap. The handle is straight out of the USSR, but ultimately this has something unique inside that a lot of other power stations don't. So I'm gonna run you through what it means for your Starlink unit and how it works. So first of all, this is a Starlink Gen 3 unit. It comes with a router, a power brick, and the actual uh, array. The benefit of buying this is being able to power your Starlink through a portable battery. And you might ask yourself, well, you can just plug this into a, let's say an EcoFlow that I've reviewed in the past through this little brick right here that goes straight to a DC port right there. Well, in this case, what it's doing, it's bypassing this, which means powering straight from the DC in here to your Starlink is 30% more efficient. From my testing, the Gen 3 system was draining about 47 watts per hour, which is pretty great. Now this has 648 watt hours inside, so it's the big one, there's also a 300 odd version. This should last quite a while, right? And a lot better than just plugging into your AC port. So this can go out the window, you have one less thing to carry on your trips. How does it work? Well, an adapter comes with this package. It has an ethernet PoE adapter right here that goes into the powered port and it's pretty simple. It plugs into your router and then into your Starlink just as you would normally. All you're doing is avoiding that AC to DC conversion. Now, with this brick, there are other options here apart from this. You've got a direct 5521 barrel jack right here and you've also got a LAN port. We'll talk about that in a moment, why that's there. On the other side, we've got the input, so it charges from obviously an AC adapter that comes in the package, but you've also got USB-C and two USB ports for some accessories. Now, apart from the efficiency, there's another bonus with a device like this. On the back, you'll notice there's four screws. It's actually user serviceable, something that a lot of these uh, battery packs just do not come with. They're all sealed completely. The, the moment you take out a screw, you void the warranty. In this case, you can change the batteries and still use the enclosure. Now at around 450 USD, this isn't the cheapest device out there, but what it provides is a much more efficient servicing of your Starlink. Now the question you might have is with this router and the Starlink, how long does it actually last? Well, on the website they say 12 hours, but with my testing it was a little bit closer to 10, so a ways off, but ultimately 10 hours for 648 watt hours with a DC to DC is pretty good. If you were to use an AC device with the brick, you'd get around 30% less time, which translates to, well, it's a bigger package with the AC inverter and having just this is actually a much easier thing to carry around. So what is the other secret this is actually hiding? Well, you don't need to use this particular router. And if you have a mini, then of course you don't have to use it, but you can use the LAN port here to plug in your own router and then power it with the DC output right here. So you could pick a router that's much more power efficient than this one and shave off a few watts per hour from your overall system, making this even more efficient. But ultimately, it provides around 20 hours for mini and about 10 hours for the Gen 3. It does come with all the adapters you need to achieve this. So you've got your barrel jacks. Uh, you've of course got the actual brick to charge it, which is an AC device. But there's another little bonus, especially for those people who uh, have a mini. This is a little coupler that extends the barrel jack right here. So you can use the one that's included in here because this is pretty short. But then you've also got this device right here. For those folks who are running the older generation Starlink, so you're covered too. This adapter allows you to use that weird proprietary plug that looks like a USB-C into here and you can power your device from there. So 
From the get-go, you purchase one thing and you pretty much covered across all generations of Starlink and you can power them efficiently for a long time. It is much lighter weight and of course, well, it's user serviceable, which in the world of lithium batteries, if that fails, you can just go to Battery World here in Australia and get a whole new battery for a couple of hundred dollars. And doing it yourself is much better than rebuying the whole thing. Now, I will say that this is supposed to be pretty rugged. It's pretty thick plastic and I'll give it that. It's supposed to be dust resistant. I probably wouldn't go swimming with it, but you know, there's no covers on any of these plugs. So do note, keeping it clean is probably worthwhile. If it rains on it, I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue, but of course, if it gets soaked or goes for a swim, it's going to be a problem. On the charging side, this allows you to use a adapter to charge from solar panels. So if you have existing solar panels, all you'll need to do is get an adapter to a DC a barrel jack and you'll be able to charge from your solar panels. And the good thing is you can solar charge at the same time as the thing is powering your Starlink. And from my view, if you're out in the outback, you put a couple of small solar panels on because this is only draining about 45 to 47 watts and you've got yourself indefinitely during the day a power station to power your Starlink. So final thoughts. The design is nothing to write home about. The user serviceability is fantastic. This simplistic design to be able to use a third party router and power over ethernet with the included adapters, I think makes this a out of the box solution for people going out in off grid situation with their Starlinks. So friends, let me know your thoughts below about this. So far from my testing, the EL8 Pro has done a fantastic job. I haven't had any issues and I've taken out the battery and put it back in. Everything seems to work really well. Thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to X Starlink for sending this for review. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.